On day one, I spawned in as Baby Sonic. I used my super speed and began running throughout my home until I came to a complete stop by none other than my friend, Knuckles. Sonic, it's good that you're here. We need to move now. I heard explosions sounding off nearby my island. Knuckles brought me over to a clearing, revealing a massive army of robots turning my land into ice. No, my home. Dr. Eggman's army, they found us. Knuckles left and I followed. It wasn't long until we reached a temple holding a strange looking fire emerald. Whoa, what's this? Without answering me, Knuckles hit me into it, causing me to absorb the emerald. My body began to change, turning my once blue fur into fire. Whoa, I'm Fire Sonic. All of your questions will be answered. First, we need to leave before... Knuckles then got interrupted by a large explosion, revealing none other than Dr. Eggman himself. Well, if it isn't Sonic, I see you collected a fire emerald. <laughs> no worries. I'll just get rid of you so that I can fully ice over this world. What? Just then, Dr. Eggman blasted Knuckles with his giant mech suit. Get out of here. Now. I ran as fast as I could with Dr. Eggman's mech suit chasing right behind me. On day two, Dr. Eggman was gaining on me. But thanks to my new fiery skin, I was running even faster than before. Woo! I think I'm gonna lose him. Unfortunately, I was stopped by a very large cliffside. Oh no. <laughs> Once my vision is complete, no one will be able to stop me. Wait! Eggman then hit me with this mech machine, causing me to fall off of the cliff. <laughs> On day three, I was falling through the sky uncontrollably. Ah, what do I do? Just as I thought all hope was lost, I got caught by a plane? Wait, is that? Hey, Sonic, hang on! Tails, we were flying through the sky, but sadly, the plane couldn't support both of our weight. Is it supposed to make that beeping noise? No, brace yourself! Ah! Tails, where are you? I looked up and saw him hovering through the sky, landing safely. Hey, must be nice. At least we are okay, Sonic. It looks like you've gotten with the fire emeralds. You will need all six of them to stop Eggman. I know. He's trying to ice over this world, but why? I have no idea. We need to get to the bottom of it and stop him. Maybe the rest of the fire emeralds are the key. My thought then got interrupted by a loud crash on the horizon. What was that? Tails and I went to look, and sure enough, it was a group of Eggman's robots roaming around the area. Oh no. On day four, Eggman's robots clashed with Tails and I. How is he still alive? I tried my best to fight back, but sadly, I wasn't putting up a fight at all. Sonic, the fire emeralds, they can give you great ability. Focus on your fire. Right. I listened to Tails, and out of my pure concentration, I was able to punch the robots with an incredibly strong fire punch. Awesome. I fought the remaining few and was able to take them down. Unfortunately, though, the last one started to run away. I must tell the others. Oh, no, you don't. I chased after it and successfully took it down at a clearing. I then noticed that he dropped a tracker that could lead me straight to the next fire emerald. Well, that's great, but... Before that, we must fortify so that we can remain safe, Sonic. Yeah, I think I have an idea. On day five, I went to work. I went out and got enough materials to make myself a set of stone tools. From there, Tails and I worked together by each building up our very own homes. I built up a sweet Fire Sonic themed house. And from the looks of things, Tails was building up his very own workshop. Whoa. With this build up and running, I'll make some really sweet gadgets in no time. I can't wait. It's important you find the other Fire Emeralds in time so that we can stop Eggman. From what I've heard, he's building up some crazy machines to freeze everything over. Agreed. From there, I looked at the tracker. I think it's time I go out and get that second Fire Emerald. 
On day six, I ran far throughout the terrain, following the tracker, until I finally arrived to the green hill zone? The second emerald is here? From the looks of things, there were more of Eggman's robots surveying the area. I bet they're looking for it too. I did my best sneaking by them and avoiding their detection. I can't be caught. So, do you really think Dr. Eggman is gonna pull this off? Hopefully. Once this world is iced over, everyone will be forced to depend and take orders from him. As I finished eavesdropping, I turned, and far off on the other end of the area, lied the green fire emerald. It was surrounded by a large drop. How am I supposed to get past that? On day seven, I had an idea. I used my fire speed and ran throughout the Green Hill Zone course. I knew if I wanted to make that large jump, I had to be fast enough. I did everything I could running through the path, knocking over Eggman's robots. Ha! Take this! After my speed built up more and more, I reached the cliff, but thankfully was able to jump high enough. I did it! I went over and picked up the second fire emerald. Because of this, my body began to change. I grew larger in size and now had crazy fire shoes that allowed me to leap high up in the air whenever I wanted. Awesome! On day eight, I was leaving the area with my new upgrade until out of nowhere, a strange looking robot dropped down in front of me. Wait a minute, are you? I am Metal Sonic, a creation of Eggman to take you down. We already have Knuckles and it won't be long until we have the rest of your friends too. No! Metal Sonic began to blast at me! Ah! He had very powerful blasters and gadgets to his disposal. I did my best to counter with my abilities, but sadly, he was just way too strong for me. I can't beat him! Knowing I had no other choice, I started to run, but the Metal Sonic began flying right behind me! Get back here! Boosters deactivated. Power low. Ah! I ran faster until I was cut off by a large, rocky wall. Oh no! Knowing I had to think fast, I used my newly acquired ability and leapt high up into the air, making it on top of the mountain wall. Okay, time to get out of here. On days 9 to 10, I made it back to base, barely. I need to update Tails. I went over to him, but I noticed that he wasn't alone. Hey, Who's this? I see you found the emerald, Sonic. Oh, and this is Chow. He's run into quite a problem. Follow me. We followed the little guy until we were met with a Chow village, but it was completely frozen over. Oh my goodness. Eggman's robots, they did this. They froze my people, my family. I was the only one who made it out alive. This is terrible. I have to save Knuckles and stop this whole operation. You know, if you help him freeze my people, my pops knows a lot about these robots. Maybe he can help you find your friend. You know what? You have yourself a deal, but how am I going to unfreeze this entire place. On days 11 to 12, I began a search throughout the Chow Village. It didn't take long until I found an ice tunnel that led straight below it. It's worth checking out. I went throughout the tunnels until I came into a large frozen cavern with a huge mass of ice at its center. That's what's keeping the village frozen. I began to chip away at the ice core with my fire punches, but out of nowhere, the core began to shoot ice back at me. Ah! I began to circle around the cavern, slamming into the core with fire and outrunning its attacks. Then when it was getting weak, the core started to make a blizzard storm throughout the whole cave. It was no match for my fire, and with the final fire leap, I was able to melt it down completely. Take that! Because of this, the cave around me started to turn back to normal, and I heard shouting coming from outside. Yeah, he did it! Sonic did it! Yeah, he saved us! I left, only to see the village was completely thawed out, and the Chow people were free and happy again. Thank you! Yes, Thank you so much. Also, my son here told me that you're looking for the robots that did this. I think I know exactly where you can find them.
On days 13 to 14, Tails and I were driving off throughout the land in his brand new van. Whoa, this thing is awesome, Tails. Thanks. Oh, look, the lab Chow told us about. I looked down over the horizon to see a tall, icy mountain, and at its peak was Eggman's high-tech laboratory. He has to be there. Using the van satellite, we then heard talking coming from Dr. Eggman and Metal Sonic way up on the roof. He's what? There's no way that stupid hedgehog is still alive. This is outrageous. Forgive me, doctor. What should we do next? We? We? Dr. Eggman punched Metal Sonic back towards the edge of the building. I'm going to continue to build my machine that will bring about an entire ice age to this world. Then I'll be the only one to provide warmth to its people. And you are going to watch over the yellow fire emerald in the vault room. Make sure that no one, especially that pincushion, ruins my plans. Yes, sir, Eggman. It's Dr. Eggman to you. Wow, someone needs some reprogramming. Eggman and Metal Sonic then disappeared back into the laboratory. Sonic, did you hear that? Yeah, I need to get in there, save Knuckles, and get the Yellow Fire Emerald fast. On days 15 to 16, Tails got close enough to the lab for me to enter inside. You go in. I'll keep watch out here. Good luck. Thanks. It didn't take long until I reached a room full of computers and monitors. Hey, give me a coffee, would you? I gotta keep an eye on this red guy. All right, all right. As one of the robots left, I saw that the other one was looking at a screen that showed Knuckles in a cage. There you are. But how do I not get caught? I snuck away from the remaining guards and entered a hallway that led to my friend. He looked so weak and frustrated. Psst, Knuckles! Sonic, you're here? Yeah, I want to get you out, but if they see me on that camera, we're done for. Your speed, use it. What? Rely on your fire. Become so fast, they won't even see you in the camera. My speed, focus. Here goes nothing. I focus on the fire powers inside of me and sprung forward in a flash. I appeared on the other side of the room as I pulled Knuckles out of the cage. Whoa, I did it. I actually did it. Here you go, one copy. Thank you. Whoa, did you see that? What? Man, you're seeing things. Just drink your coffee. It'll wake you up. On days 17 to 18, I was going deeper within their facility. What are we doing? We can't just leave yet, Knuckles. They have the fire emerald here. I heard it's in some sort of vault room. Uh-oh. That's the highest secured place here. Well, it's worth a try. The two of us ran down a few more hallways until we found the room. And there in the center was the yellow fire emerald. Bingo. We began to move into the vault room when suddenly its door slammed shut behind us. Uh-oh. Metal Sonic then flew in and landed in between us and the fire emerald. You should have listened to your friend, Sonic. Now you will both. Die. He started to blast away, shooting at me and Knuckles constantly. Ah! The two of us knew that we had to stop him. We can't give up now. Metal Sonic started to fly up, focusing his attacks on Knuckles. Oh, no, you don't. I used my fire leap ability and slammed right into him. Ah! No, 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 no. He fell to the ground and Knuckles rushed up and unleashed a flurry of punches. With one fire punch, Metal Sonic was down for the count. We did it. With my victory, I went up and grabbed the yellow fire emerald. Because of this, I felt even more fire energy surrounding me. I gained five more hearts. And now I could create shield orbs of pure fire around me. My celebration was cut short because the vault doors burst open, revealing none other than Dr. Eggman himself. On days 19 to 20, I was face to face with Dr. Eggman. All right, no more fun and games, Sonic. Hand the emerald back over and I'll think about not killing you. I know what you're planning to do. Freezing over the entire world? Why? Why? Do you have any idea what it's like to be seen as a joke? Seen as someone who tries and tries but never succeeds? Well, 
When this ice takes over the world, I'll be the only person to supply it with the heat that they so desperately need. Then, everyone will need me. I'll be the strongest person in the world. Eggman fired off a powerful missile attack. Oh no, I thought I was done for. But out of instinct, I used my new fire shield ability, blocking the explosion. I will not let you get away with this. Enough! Eggman shot one more explosion, creating a large hole right underneath us. Curses! I'll find you again, Sonic. But you, I can't believe they just broke you down with the food between their teeth have to make you into better, stronger robots. On days 21 to 23, Knuckles and I ventured throughout the underground tunnels until we found an exit far off away from the facility. Sonic, Knuckles, you guys are all right. <laughs> Thank goodness. Yeah, we are. It was a mission success, Tails. From there, the three of us made it back to our base. I knew that we had to build Knuckles a home, so I was about to go gather supplies from a nearby cave, but he stopped me. Huh, allow me. Knuckles went and started mining with his bare fists, destroying chunk after chunk. Awesome! Together, me and Knuckles built him up a home to stay in. And done! I hope you like it, pal. Thanks again for everything. While I was mining, I was able to find this as well. Knuckles threw over a ton of iron for me to have. Sweet! With it, I was able to upgrade my tools into iron ones. Thanks, man! Don't mention it, but uh, while I was mining down there, I broke through a wall and found some Weird purple colored flames. Purple flames, huh? I'll go check it out. On days 24 to 26, I headed down into the caves underneath our base. After a little while, I stumbled across the purple fire that Knuckles was talking about. Huh, that's weird. I followed the flames, which led me to a large room filled with purple light as a massive pool of purple lava separated me from a large door. Wait a minute, the purple fire emerald. Could it be here? I started to look around and noticed that three different jump pads were inside of the room. And are those rings? Huh. I trusted my instincts and jumped on one of the pads straight through a golden ring. This caused it to glow up. Awesome! I did it to the remaining two, which caused the main entryway to open. I looked over, and inside of the newly opened room lied the purple emerald. Let's go! On days 27 to 29, I walked through the open doorway to approach the next fire emerald, when suddenly, something started to come up from the ground in front of me. Before me was a large green pipe, and out of it jumped a plumber in red clothes? Wait, Mario? He jumped up and grabbed the purple fire emerald from its pedestal. As he did, his clothes changed colors, turning him into fire Mario. Let's go! Ah, hello, Fire Sonic. What are you doing here? That's mine. Yours? No way. I found it first. What? No, you don't understand. No, you don't. I need this for myself. So long. No. Mario leapt back into the green pipe. I can't let him get away. I jumped in, following him right behind. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Finally. Sonic won't stand a chance. My beautiful creation is finally complete. And with this final piece, he will be perfect. Now, let's place it inside and let's turn this puppy back on. On days 30 to 32, I jumped out of the green pipe following Mario. And as I looked up, I saw we were in a land frozen over ice. It seemed completely empty. Is this place? Yes, it was my mushroom kingdom. That cruel Dr. Eggman tested his icy creations on it. And now everything is gone. That is why I need the fire emerald. Mario, if you just give me the purple emerald, I'll I'll be one step closer to being able to defeat him. No, 
Oh, in fact, I think I should have all of the fire emeralds. What? How about this? If you defeat me in a challenge, you can have the purple fire emerald. But if I win, you have to give me all of yours. I'll beat you anytime, any place. On days 33 to 35, Mario brought me over to a massive track surrounding a frozen mountain. On it were two race cars lined up. Oh yeah, my challenge is a race around this large icy volcano. Wait, volcano? Oh yeah, and we start as soon as it... Suddenly, the frozen volcano started to erupt, launching massive blocks of ice into the sky. Let's go! Mario sped off in his cart, getting a head start. Hey, I jumped in and sped off behind him. He was far ahead and massive blocks of ice were were raining down onto us. Mamma mia, here you go. Mario launched fireballs attacking at me from his cart. Hey, stop that. We both started to turn the final corner and there was the finish line. As he was distracted, a large block of ice crashed down onto him. No. Because of this, I cruised through the finish line, winning the race. Yes, that was not Mamma Mia. <laughs> but a win is a win, Sonic. Here you go. Mario threw over the purple fire emerald to me, and I picked it up. This caused me to gain five more hearts, and now I could summon large fire rocks from the sky. This is sick. I looked back at Mario, and he looked sad and defeated. I knew deep down, all he was trying to do was save the Mushroom Kingdom. Hey, Mario, I have an idea. On days 36 to 38, I traveled back with Mario to the frozen Mushroom Kingdom. I then used all of my fire energy in my legs to start running around as fast as I could. A ring of fire then started to form, causing the entire kingdom to melt back to what it once was. Woohoo! Thank you so much, Sonic. I know we have our differences, but it is important you take down that evil Eggman. Trust me, I will. I kept running, using my speed to race back home. But unfortunately for me, a large fiery explosion knocked me aside. Ow! Celebrating a little early now, are we? I looked up and saw that Metal Sonic was standing directly in front of me. He clearly had some new upgrades and looked much stronger than before. What happened to you? That doesn't matter. You should be worried about what's about to happen to you. Metal Sonic rushed in and immediately started to hit me with fire. Ah! I jumped up and slammed into him with my fire leap. But he seemed unfazed. Poor little Sonic. Suddenly, in a burst of speed, Metal Sonic jumped up in the air and slammed down on top of me. I thought I was surely done for. No, I can't die here. Out of nowhere, he was hit from a side by a powerful attack that stunned him. What the? I looked over and saw my fellow hedgehog, Shadow, standing there. Hurry and get up, Sonic. We don't have much time until he recovers. Shadow? You're here too? I said get up and let's go. On days 39 to 41, I escaped with Shadow, making it back to my base. Okay, why are you here and why did you save me? This isn't about you, Sonic. This is about saving the world. Eggman's experiments, his inventions, they're roaming all over the place, destroying everything, trying to start that new Ice Age of his. He needs to be stopped. Yeah, no kidding. <sighs> There's a reason we weren't able to stop Robot Sonic just now. He's empowered by something. The next Fire Emerald. That's why he had fire attacks as well. What should we do? Sonic, I was overhearing your conversation, and I think I can make you something that could take Metal Sonic down. Awesome. Yeah, so make it. Well, that's just the thing. I seem to have misplaced the item I need. It's called the solar shell. It's the only thing that could withstand your firepower, Sonic. Uh, what is it, Shadow? It's just, I think I know who has one. You do? Yeah, an old friend of mine, 
Follow me. On days 42 to 44, I followed Shadow into a dark wood forest. Hey, I don't like this. Come on, she won't hurt you, I think. Yoo-hoo. What was that? I looked up, frightened only to see Rouge the Bat was perched up on a dark wood tree. So, what is it that you want? We're here for a specific item I heard you might have, the solar shell. Ah, uh, yes. Well, let's see. I have something you want. How about you get me something I want? And what's that? Well, you see, just outside this forest is an operation site of Eggman's robots, and I saw one of them had a pretty, not-so-little golden ring. If you go and get that ring for me, then I shall exchange it for your solar shell. Ugh. Fine, one golden ring coming right up. On days 45 to 47, we left Rouge's Darkwood Forest and saw Eggman's operation site not too far off. As we moved closer, I noticed that the place was crawling with a bunch of robots. If we're caught, the whole site would be on us. As we started to creep around the base, I started to hear a voice shouting in the distance. What did I tell you about insubordination? Oh no, Eggman's here? Sonic, look. I looked over and saw Eggman in a courtyard. We're going as fast as we can, Doctor. We'll go faster. If we don't get everything ready and complete the airship before that hedgehog gets stronger, then I'll dismantle you all by hand myself. An airship? What is he planning? All the robots scattered around the operation site, and Dr. Eggman left. Sonic, we have to get the ring out of here now. I know, I know. There! Shadow and I ran into an opening, and in the middle of it was a large golden ring. Bingo! I ran up to grab it, but as soon as I did, an alarm started to ring out throughout the entire site. You have got to be kidding me. On days 48 to 52, Shadow and I were surrounded by Eggman's robots. Well, no other way out than to fight, right? Normally, no, but I've been itching for a fight. Ah! Shadow ran into the robots, slashing into them, as I used my fire leap to slam into a group at once. I used my orbs of fire to burn down the last few remaining ones, and Shadow cut down the last robot. Hey, we make a pretty good team, huh? Ugh. Whatever, let's just get out of here before more come. We used our speed to run out of the operation site in a flash and headed back into Rouge's area. Oh, sweet Sonic, you shouldn't have. Rouge flew down from the treetops as I tossed her the ring she asked for. Hey, all in a day's work, right? Now, please give us a solar shell like you promised. Oh, I didn't promise anything. But I'll be nice because you have been so kind, unlike someone else I know. This is what I need. Yes. Now, just to give this to Tails. On days 53 to 56, Shadow and I ran as fast as we could back to our base. Here you go, Tails. Now, what are you making? Oh, sweet. And uh, you'll see soon. Just give me a little more time. I took this time to build up a home for Shadow. I made it match his dark style to thank him for all of his help. Here you go. Thanks, Sonic. I guess. Sonic, it's ready! As I made my way into Tails' workshop, I saw his hard work had not gone to waste as he built me my very own armor. Whoa, this is amazing. It's nothing really, Sonic. It's especially nothing without the proper pilot. Pilot? Yep, hop on in. I walked up and got into the large suit. It's a perfect fit. With this, you can surely take down Metal Sonic. I'll give you some coordinates from here. Time to go find him and get the next Fire Emerald. On days 57 to 59, I was running throughout the world, searching for Metal Sonic. All right, Sonic, the thrusters are working properly. You can hear me too. Right. Yes, Tails. Coming in loud and clear. Then the system is working perfectly. That robot clone stands no chance. I just got a blip on the radar. Head 300 kilometers north of your current position. All right, on it. I ran over to the location as I started to see a burning village come into my view. Whoa, what happened here? Oh, no. The robot, he's back. Everyone, run away. Save the children! What? No, it's okay. I'm not who you think I am. I'm- Stay away from me! 
Everyone run! I'll distract him! The panicking villager started to run in a snake-like pattern. Hey, knock it off! I'm trying to help. Just tell me where Metal Sonic went. He wasn't listening, so I walked towards him, causing him to run away in fear. I looked up in the direction he ran and saw a partially destroyed pathway through some nearby trees. He must have gone that way. That's right! You better run, you robotic freak! On day 60 to 62, I ran as fast as I could, following the path of destruction. Just then, I was met with an opening where fire was burning all around the tree lines. And there, standing in the middle of all of it, was Metal Sonic. Hey! Oh, Sonic, did you come back so I can take you down for good to see who the better Sonic really is? What are you even talking about? I was made in every way to copy you and defeat you at your own game. But fail after fail, Eggman has only grown disappointed in me. Well, I will show him he was wrong. Metal Sonic launched forward, coming straight at me with his flaming fists. You will not defeat me today, Sonic. Today I become the only Sonic. His attacks were hurting a lot. Time to see what this suit can do. I shot at Metal Sonic using my new mechanized weaponry. I can tell that this was really starting to damage him. I'm sorry, but you're right. There can only be one Sonic. No, no. He ran forward to hit me one last time, but before he could, I hit him harder than I ever had, causing his defeat. From his death, the blue fire emerald was now on the ground. I picked it up, causing me to grow in size. I broke out of Tail's armor with five more hearts, and now I can spin in a wheel of fire. This is amazing. On days 63 to 65, I was on my way back to base when I heard something in the distance. Yeah, 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 but we'll all be boarding the airship soon anyway. Airship? I need to get closer. I looked around the corner to see a massive robot base that was holding Eggman's airship, but it looked like it was still being built. Yeah, this thing will be up and running in only a few days' time. We're going to the Sky Sanctuary first, right? Yeah, now you're catching on, new guy. That's where the doctor says the final fire emerald is. The white emerald is at a sky sanctuary? How am I supposed to get there? Has anybody seen Robot Sonic? He was supposed to be back here by now. I better get out of here and catch up with the others at base fast. On days 66 to 68, I made it safely back to base and headed right for Tails' workshop. I met up with the others and quickly caught them up with what I just heard. The last emeralds at the sky sanctuary? Then we will just fly there first. Oh, so you know where it is, Tails? I don't, but maybe we could... It's okay. I think I know what's best. I have to sneak onto that airship before it takes off in a few days. They will take me straight to the Sky Sanctuary. What? Sonic, that's crazy. Yeah, at least let us come with you. No, guys. I'm sorry, but this is the only way. I have to do it alone. Hmm. <laughs> I walked over to see Shadow standing in the doorway. Going in solo, Sonic? Pretty bold move. I don't need you to ruin the mood, Shadow. I'm just saying, you better be strong enough to face Eggman alone then. Are you sure you're ready for that? I guess I'll just have to find out. On days 69 to 73, I made my way back to Eggman's airship but it seemed like it was about to take off. All of the robots were starting to get on, and I heard Dr. Eggman's voice over a loud speaker. Attention, my creations. Would each and every one of you bucket of bolts make your way onto the airship at once? I saw an opening and started to sprint as fast as I could. Lift off in three, two, one. Ah! Phew, that was close. I looked at my new surroundings and was in some sort of strange storage room. Please tell me none of these machines are randomly just gonna turn on. I started to look around and noticed a much larger mech suit. What is this for? I have to get that white emerald. Only then can I stop this entire operation. On day 74 to 77, I hid in the storage room until I felt the airship come to a screeching halt. 
Did we make it to the Sky Sanctuary? I looked outside and saw Eggman and his robots going towards a large temple. Whoa, we were on top of a floating island that had white sky hedgehogs everywhere. I will ask you one more time. Where is the emerald? I cannot tell you. My people will die to defend the sanctuary, and you are not worthy! Because of this, Eggman got furious and commanded his robots to attack. I watched as all of them started hurting the hedgehog people. Oh my goodness! You idiots. My creations! Lock every single one of them up and then search everywhere! I'll be looking up there. All of Eggman's robots started to put the white hedgehogs into cages. Oh no, I have to save them. On day 78 to 80, I made it over to the hedgehogs. I can't alert the robots this time. There's too many of them. I did my best to hide from each of them. And when they left their posts, I used my speed to finally reach the cages. Another hedgehog? What are you doing here? I'm here to save you. Just hold on. I used my new wheel of fire ability to cut into the elder's cage. But this alerted the robots. Oh no. Hey, stop them. They started to rush in and attack me. There are too many of them. Suddenly, the elder stepped in between us, blasting them with a large thunderous attack. Now! I charged in with all my fire attacks combined. And because of this, they stood no chance. From there, I broke the surrounding cages, letting out more of the sky hedgehogs. Great job, hedgehog. You have saved our people. And I think I know why you are here. The elder then led me to the temple stairway. Our sacred fire emerald resides in that temple. Now go and stop Dr. Eggman. On days 81 to 85, I ran up the stairs towards the Sky Sanctuary, taking out as many of Eggman's robots as I could. Take this! I reached the front of the Sky Temple, slowly making my way through the entrance. Eggman has to be inside of here somewhere. I have to be careful. After a while, I made it to a large balcony hanging over the clouds. Sitting there on a pedestal was the huge white fire emerald. Yes, I made it here first. On days 86 to 90, I was just about to grab the final emerald. With this, I can stop Eggman. But out of nowhere, Eggman dropped down right in front of me. Oh no. <laughs> you dumb little hedgehog. He turned around and grabbed the emerald. No! Dr. Eggman then turned towards me. And with the new power of the emerald, he blasted me with very powerful flames. Gah! I was low on hearts. The last fire emerald was much stronger than mine. I couldn't take him down. Not alone. You were too late, Sonic. Far, far too late. Even with the last fire emerald, my plans are already in motion. My creations will freeze this world and bring about the beautiful Ice Age where I'm its sole provider. And that means I must rid this world of people like you. No, wait! Hey, Suddenly, Sonic. I heard a familiar voice in the air around us. Is that? An explosion took place on the wall. And standing there were my friends, Tails and Knuckles. You guys are here! Eggman was distracted, allowing Tails to hit the ah. emerald right out of his hands. Ah, no! No! Hurry, Sonic! That was our chance! I grabbed the final fire emerald, causing me to explode in a bright light. I gained 10 more hearts and transformed into fire supersonic. I can now fly, and my body felt so powerful. Ha! It's over, Eggman! Both Tails and Knuckles were at my side as we were face to face with him. Oh, I see. You think because of this minor mishap that I'm still a failure. No, 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 no. I will not be a failure again. This is not a failed experiment. This is a learning experience. Yes. Now, plan B. Plan B? Eggman turned around and jumped off the sky sanctuary. Wait. I ran to the edge and looked over only to see that he landed on his airship and it started to take off. <laughs> now this world will know what my creations can really do. Ice the world. Sonic, how are we going to stop them? It's okay, Tails. I can handle it from here. I took off into the sky, heading straight towards Eggman's airship. Good luck. 
on days 95 to 99, I was flying as fast as I could in my new form. His ship was then beginning to drop massive shards of ice throughout the world. Hit by hit, the terrain below started to freeze over. Oh no, I gotta end this fast. Oh no, incoming of the port side. I landed on the airship and was now face to face with all of the remaining robots. Where is he? Attack. The robots all rushed in and started to attack. Thankfully, now that I was fully upgraded, they didn't stand a chance. I flew overhead and shot down at them with my new fire attacks, taking down each of them one by one almost instantly. And take... This. With one final attack, the last one was down. But just then, the large mech that I saw before appeared in front of me. Looking for me? On day 100, I was face to face with Dr. Eggman. Whoa, it seems like you found yourself some upgrades. Yes, yes I have. I will not let you take this arrow away from me. Eggman then started to launch a bunch of rockets at me, but thankfully, I flew out of the way, watching as his attack started to destroy his own ship. I jumped towards Eggman with my fire leap, slamming into him, and I started to cut into him with my wheel of fire. Ha! Eggman stomped into the ground with such force that I flung backwards. <laughs> I cannot stand you, Sonic. You have been there to foil my every plan. I saw what you did to Robot Sonic, and now I'm going to do the same to you. Out of nowhere, his mech suit then started to make a blizzard of ice form around us. I will succeed! No, I won't let you! We both charged towards each other, trading punches and blows as ice and fire was flying everywhere. I flew up, then came crashing down once again. No! No! Then, with one final attack, I was able to take down Eggman for good. And with that, my friends and the people of this world were finally safe again.